20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Here we got a roll program. Neil Armstrong reporting the roll and pitch program, which puts Apollo 11 on a proper heading. Plus 30 seconds. Roll is complete and the pitch is programming. One Bravo. One Bravo is a abort control mode. Altitude's two miles. Houston, you're good at one minute. Downrange one mile, altitude three, four miles now. Got Velocity 2,195 feet per second. Uh, start model pressure red line is lit. I don't where. Yeah, it don't make a difference. No difference. Okay, let's punch them out. Everything is go, Ralph. We're through the region of maximum dynamic pressure now. Yeah, everything looks good here. We're at 1350 on the start bottom. Set eight miles downrange, 12 miles high. Velocity, 4,000 feet per second. Stand by for mode one, Charlie. Mark, mode one, Charlie. One, Charlie. Cliff Charlesworth taking a staging status. This is Houston. You are go for staging. Inboard cutoff. Inboard engines out. Come inboard cutoff. Downrange 35 miles, 30 miles high. Standing by for the outboard engine cut down now. Station. And ignition. Yes, 4B is go. 11 Houston, thrust is go. All engines, you're looking good. Hi, Roger. You're loud and clear, Houston. At three minutes, downrange 70 miles, 43 miles high, velocity 9,300 feet per second.
Down two and a half. Forward. Forward. Good. 40 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. 30 feet, two and a half down. Break shadow. Four forward. Four forward, drift into the right a little. Down a half. 30 seconds. Forward. Good. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. APA had a descent. Boat control, both auto, descent, engine command override off. Engine arm off. We're home. <laughs> 413 is in. Man on the moon. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh... Oh, jeez. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> Oh, boy. Thank you. There's that foot coming down. There right he is. Now. There's a foot coming down the steps. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, I just checked... Uh, back up to that first step, uh, it's, uh, that isn't collapsed too far, but uh, it's adequate to get back up. Roger, we copy. Pretty good little jump. So there's a foot on the moon, stepping down on the moon. If he's testing that first step, he must be stepping down on the moon at this point. Ten. Uh, Buzz, this is Houston, F2, I'm at one one sixty a second for shadow photography on the sequence camera. Okay. I'm uh, at the foot of the ladder. The lamb foot beds are only uh, uh, dressed in the surface about uh, one or two inches. Uh, although the surface appears to be uh, very, very fine grained as you get close to it. It's almost like a powder. Down there, uh, it's very fine. Boy, look at those pictures. Wow. It's a little shadowy, but uh, he said he expected that in the shadow of the lunar module. Armstrong is on the moon. Down Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon on this July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. Guidance reports both navigation systems on Eagle are looking good. Thank you, Mike. You're looking good. I 
Roger. New Buzz Aldrin again. Armstrong doing the flying. A beautiful lift off. Scratchy communications. Eagle taking off just the way it's supposed to. Vertical rise rate. A little bit of uh, low wallowing back and forth. Not very much structure activity. Roger, mighty fine. Here is the president, of course, watching from his vantage point, some five decks up on the carrier, standing there with the various VIPs. The men on the Hornet, some 2,200 of them, the crew, they were up as early as 2 o'clock this morning, getting everything ship shape. Final preparations for the president, Secretary of State Rogers, Admiral McCain, commander of all the U.S. forces in the Pacific, all here to observe this historic moment. And uh, we're now getting word from the swim helicopters, the rescue helicopters, that the crew is in excellent condition. Let's go to them now and see if we can pick up some direct radio communication. The ship is uh, two and a quarter miles from the spacecraft now, and the spacecraft uh, pretty clear now in the picture. The uh, big swimmer, Lieutenant Hattelberg, is using hand signals to uh, communicate with the uh, astronauts inside their spacecraft. He does have a little plastic board with him and a grease pencil, which he can write on and flash messages to them that way. Actually, Ron, not much communication is needed between the astronauts. The hatch is now open. We have word uh, from the scene from the recovery helicopter. And the first astronaut is coming out. That would be Buzz Aldrin, wouldn't it, uh, Nellis? I believe so. 